Boss, we really have a situation, and the situation is that if you have the PenFed Platinum Rewards Visa Signature credit card application under review, here are the things you need to do and the things you should not do, okay? And we want to be clear because this is an important card a lot of people are applying for, and that whenever PenFed is telling you that your application is under review, this is what you should do. I want you to stick around till the end of today's conversation so you can have a clear understanding of what you need to do. Welcome back first to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous if you ever ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to explain to you that whenever you have a PenFed Platinum Rewards Visa Signature credit card application under review, there are a few things that you should do and a few things they should not do, okay? But before I get into the hacks that you need to apply, let me first give you an overview about the card we're talking about. So the Platinum Rewards Visa Signature Credit Card with, from PenFit earns big rewards in most areas of household spending. So this is kind of cool if you have a household and you are trying to actually uh, earn rewards, okay? So as a car holder, you earn five points per dollar for gas purchases at the pump and electric vehicle charging stations. You earn three points per dollar for supermarket purchases, restaurants, dining and cable, satellites and other television, radio, streaming services, and one point per dollar on all other purchases, all while charging no annual fee and no foreign transaction fees, okay? So the main downside with this card is that outside of the strong earning potential, it lacks meaningful perks. That's what you need to think about. So here are the pros. No annual fee. No foreign transaction fee. You can earn 15,000 bonus points after spending $1,500 in the first three months of account opening. Here are the cons. There is a balance transfer fee, no major, uh, no major extra benefits, and you have limited redemption options. Okay, So the whole thing here is that if you have a household and you are trying to earn rewards, this is a card for you. But Outside of that, there's nothing else you can you can expect, okay? So when we think about this uh, Platinum Rewards Visa Signature Card, and at a glance, I want you to re just remember the 15,000 bonus points that you earn after spending $1,500 in the first three months of account opening, okay? This is kind of cool, and uh, so this is really, now, you can earn rewards continuously. In terms of redemption, uh, reward redemption, you may redeem your your points for products, services, or accounts benefits by logging into penfed.org, going to your Platinum Rewards account and clicking Redeem Rewards, okay? Available options include gift cards, merchandise, or travel, okay? And one thing I want to say here is that there are other PenFed Platinum Rewards uh, signature, Visa Signature benefits, okay? You have Purchase Security, Roadside Dispatch, Golf Discount and Privileges, okay? You have S Silver Card Discount. So normal one county benefits, 24-7 fraud monitoring, 24-7 concierge, and zero for liability. So overall, this is a great card, especially if you are interested in saving in terms of household expenses. One thing I want to talk to you, I want to tell you, boss, when we talk about this PenFed Platinum Rewards Visa Signature Credit Card, there are normal processing times. Okay, how long does it take to uh, for does it take PenFed to review a credit card application? In general, well, it really depends. Okay, but usually it takes about seven to ten business days. Because the thing here is a lot of people are sometimes are very uh, impatient. They apply for the card online and they just want to have a, a decision right off the bat. Things don't happen that way. Okay, you gotta be patient here. Because sometimes stuff happens. They might be busy. You know, uh, PenFed might have a let's say uh, a queue of uh, credit card applications, they just might be busy or the algorithm is not working or there are other things that may happen, okay? But usually seven to 10 business days, okay? Now, we're talking about the, the time frame for the physical credit card to arrive in the mail. But you might be approved, let's say three days, okay? Or 24 hours or 48 hours, it really depends. Okay, so sometimes you have to think about seasonality also, you know? I mean, it's, it depends on the season. 
So one thing I want to say here is that it's really important to keep that in mind. Now, you might be thinking, well, if my credit card application is under review, I'll be denied. Not necessarily. I'm here to tell you, necessarily. It doesn't mean that they are going to, they are going to reach at your ass. Not at all. It just depends on the, 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 the workload. It depends on the system because sometimes the algorithm might not approve you right away because uh, there might be some problems in your, uh, in your credit card app. A credit card application the data might not match you know i'll be talking about that a little on but what, one thing i want to say here is that you need to be aware of the normal processing times so you can uh, lower your expectations or have reasonable expectations very important okay and uh, so credit card credit card credit card are you currently waiting for your platinum rewards visa signature credit card application to be successful or any other credit card for that matter if you are, I'm here to tell you to be patient. I'm here to tell you not to rush. I'm here to tell you to hold your horses. They are important, okay? And the thing here is that your name is in the system, okay? They are working on it. They are working on it. Now, there are a few things I'm, I'm going to tell you very soon that will help you actually uh, kick off the process in a very conducive way, in a very favorable way for you. But you want to wait for at least three to four days, maximum one week, before you start taking action, okay? Because you don't, you really don't want to bother uh, PenFed rep, you know, PenFed reps that, you know, I have a credit card application. I want to know what happened here. You know, I'm kind of, no, 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 just take it easy. Now, let's talk about the reasons, okay? So, here are common reasons your application may be under review and what to do. So, the first thing is inconsistent data. So, the information you included on your application might not match the information on your credit report okay so when you actually filled out the PenFed platinum rewards visa signature credit card application you put some info that basically you know is not in sync with what you currently have on your FACO score on your FACO report okay maybe you you uh, accidentally missed out your phone number for example or perhaps you recently moved and your credit report hasn't yet updated to reflect your new address. A lot of things happen. You know, people actually move, life happens, you know, whatever. So this could be a problem. I mean, and remember that PenFed has an algorithm that actually matches the things automatically, okay, before the uh, the card the card application is sent to uh, is sent to a human for review, okay? So the system has to do a preliminary check to make sure everything everything syncs. So if the if there is inconsistent data between say your credit report and your application uh, your application form this might cause a delay okay so one thing you want to do here is that you want to constant you want to go back to the to the application if you if you still have it and you want to see if all the information you provided is accurate if not one thing you can also do is you want to actually uh, you know, you want to get a, a free copy of your credit report you can go to annualcreditreport.com and you can see if uh, information on your credit report matches what you currently put on a credit card or loan application okay loan application that you have there must be a match the second reason is that frozen credit so if your credit is frozen if you have frozen your credit with Equifax Experian or TransUnion this is very in intentional. You know, if your credit is frozen, you want to unfreeze before applying for credit. This is very important. Or if you have too many, uh, let's say too many inquiries. Okay, you recently applied for a lot of credit. So PenFed may want to investigate your recent credit inquiries to determine whether you might be planning to take on more debts that you can pay off. Because it, when you really think about it, it's all about DTI and CUR. It's all about debt to income ratio and it's all about credit utilization ratio. So PenFed is trying to cover their ass here. They're trying to mitigate the risk. They're trying to make sure that you are not borrowing more than you can afford. So if they see a lot of, if they see a constellation of uh, recent inquiries on your credit report, this could actually uh, make them pause in terms of uh, reviewing your application. Okay, so what you can do is you want to avoid having too many recent inquiries and you want to unfreeze, you want to unfreeze your credit with Equifax Experian or TransUnion. Another reason here is that ID fraud. So if PenFed suspects identity fraud, in other words, there are discrepancies between your application and your credit report. Or if you applied for multiple credit cards within a single day, for instance, okay, PenFed might consider if someone else is trying to take out credit in your name. Okay, so these are really important things. And and one thing you want to do again, going back to what I told you earlier about uh, 
ordering a free copy of your report or your credit report from our annual creditreport.com you want to make sure that people are not trying to open credit cards or loans under your name okay this is important and uh, i mean nowadays everything is possible you know you have the net the internet it's just crazy people trying to steal people's identity and do stuff whatever whatever but your your situation here is that you want to stay on top of your game and make sure that you protect and preserve your good name and credit score okay and good reputation also one thing you want to do is um, one one reason why your application might be on the review is uh, the verification so PenFed needs to verify your application. I'm talking about verifying your personal information or verifying your income information. Okay, you might be saying, listen, I'm making 20 grand a year or I'm making 30 grand a year or I'm making 40 grand a year, okay? They might want to verify that, okay? And on, on, on occasion, on occasion, banks or a credit union for that matter will not approve your card right out, right away because they would like you to confirm the income you have reported on the sign of form okay this is what it is and uh so they might ask you for your tax returns they might ask you for a pay stub okay they might ask you for a 1099 a w2 whatever you have to provide so that so that uh you can corroborate your income that's fine that's that's kind of fine okay so money 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 sometimes you have to confirm how much you're making boss how much you're making and are you ready to provide PenFed the proper uh, salary information so that they know that the income you put on the, on the credit card application is indeed the, the income you are making okay this is really important boss okay so I want you right now even before you contact the uh, PenFed I want you to have uh, your tax returns right away and you, it doesn't have to be uh, the last uh, four or five tax returns I think the last two tax returns are fine okay so your 1040 for the last two years okay your three monthly your last three monthly bank statements okay your w2s for the last two years those should be sufficient another reason why your platinum your PanFed platinum rewards visa signature credit card application might be under review is that uh if your FACO is too low Oh, yeah, this is really important. I mean, the whole thing here, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it, right? But the thing is, if your FACO is too low, if they think that your FACO is too low, normally, PenFed is kind of cool if you have a 600 minimum or 590, okay? As long as you have a strong relationship with them. You got to have a strong relationship with PenFed, okay? Now, if you if your FACO score is too low and you don't have a, a strong, lengthy relationship with them, this might actually cause them to pause a little bit, okay? So, the whole thing here is that going back to what I said about ordering a free copy of your credit report through annualcreditreport.com, what you are trying to do here is you want to make sure the data is accurate. In other words, if they say that your score is 650, you want to make sure that all the underlying data that actually uh, reflect, that actually epitomize that credit score are accurate. If the data is not accurate, if the data are not accurate, you want to start fixing them. If the data sets are not accurate, you want to start fixing them. I mean, maybe you have a charge off, you have a collection, you have an open collection, you have a, a discrepancy in your data, and, or you have been victim of identity theft. Or you, you you paid off a balance, you paid off a balance, but the data furniture has not updated the the credit the credit report yet. There are there are there are a constellation of things that actually there is a constellation of things that could cause your FICO score to go down. So you want to fix you want to fix those things, okay? And uh, another reasons why your application may, may be under review is that PenFed is overwhelmed with applications. I just said this before, okay? I mean people go through I mean PenFed goes through seasons where there are seasons where People apply, you know, in numbers for a credit card and there are seasons where they're just uh, very busy. They're very bored, rather. Okay. So you have to really, uh, you have to be very cognizant of, of that seasonality. Okay. So big decision time, big decision time, boss. Are you currently uh, frustrated that your credit card application uh, has been under review for a long time? If you are, I want you to, I, want, I really want you to stop the frustration. To actually know that there is a process in place so you wait for three three or four days or maximum seven days and you start taking the action and I'll speak about the actions in the next section but the most important thing you need to know do you need to do is that you got to have you got to gather all your paperwork very important all your uh, you got to substantiate all the information you put on the credit card so paperwork meaning your bank statements your uh, your direct deposit information if you have direct deposit you got to think about your w2 your pay stubs okay your tax returns all of that kind of stuff 
I'll be right back. But right after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sort of Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about the PenFed Platinum Rewards Visa Signature Credit Card Application under review, what you do do and what you do not do. So let's address the whole issue now, what to do. So what to do if your application is pending? Okay, and I'm talking about past seven days and you're just kind of like a, a, little, a little like uh, anxious about what's going on here. Don't be anxious, okay? The first thing you need to do is if you can, go to the nearest branch. If you live in the vicinity of a PenFed branch, I want you I want you to go to a nearest branch and have a conversation. If, if, it, if it's possible, you want to uh, get an appointment. This is very important, okay, because it's all about gathering intel to know what's really happening on your credit card application, okay? Don't panic. It's not about panicking. It's not about being frustrated. When you go to the branch, be polite. Talk to people in a courteous, in a courteous way, in a friendly manner, okay? Be polite. Be respectful. Okay, don't you just bring your ass over there and start shouting on people, you know, being frustrated, you know, I don't understand, I apply for this credit card for blah, 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 and not being polite. What's up with that? You got to stop that. When you go there, be polite, be calm, be quiet, and speak and art articulate your situation. Okay, so the ref can help you. That's the first thing you, you, you have to do. Second thing is you want you want to watch the mail. Okay, nearly all lenders, including PenFed, send information about their application decisions through the mail whether to congratulate you on your approval or explain why your credit card application was declined, okay? So you want to check your mailbox regularly to make sure you haven't missed any letters. Here I'm talking about your, U your USPS mailbox, not your email box. Very important, okay? You also want to monitor your email. So your credit card application decision will often arrive by both postal mail, postal mail and email. And in most cases, you will receive the email first. So you want to keep an eye on your inbox and do not forget to check your spam folder. Okay. Very important. So, so those are the first three things I want you to do. First three things, go to the nearest branch and have a conversation with someone. You want to watch the mail, your USPS mail to make sure that everything is fine and that nobody has actually discarded a very precious correspondence, a very precious letter that you got from PenFed. And the third thing you need to do is you might want to monitor your email. And all while doing that, again, you want to gather your documentation so that you have the right paperwork when, Tom's, uh, when Tom comes to show it. The next thing I want you to do here is I want you to log into your online PenFed portal. This is really important. So if you already have an account, an online account with the PenFed, and, and you should, you might be able to able to log into your online portal to check on the status of your new credit card application. Okay. And uh, so you, one thing you need to understand is that many credit card issuers and PenFed for that matter, and we know this for a fact, they offer application, um, application status portals. Okay. That basically allow you to check on the, on your pending application. So this is kind of a, you know, very convenient and you just have, as, as soon as you log into your PenFed account, you, you would see that actually in the credit card application category, you can see uh, status pending, whatever. So you want to click on that. And so here, there you will have all the info about uh, what you need to do or what PenFed is expecting you to do or how long it would take for them to actually review and approve and approve you. Okay. Another, th another thing you want to do is call customer service. This is really important. So if you're still waiting to hear back on your application status, you can always contact customer service, okay? And what we love here is that some credit card issuers and PenFed does that, have dedicated application status phone lines. Otherwise, you can simply call the main customer service phone number. Okay, so this is really important. And, and uh, the piece of advice that I told you, I gave you earlier when it, comes, when it comes to going to a branch also applies here. In other words, trying to be polite, boss, I want you to be polite. I want you to be quiet. Don't you try to actually lash out on the, the, the customer service rep. Don't you try to be anxious and raise your voice or whatever. No. You want to speak respectfully. You want to you want to engage with the rep because the rep is there, there is there to help you. Okay. They are there to help you. He or she is trying to help you. So be polite, be courteous. You want you want to articulate the situation and you want to ask for help. And all you're asking her or him is to give you the info. Okay? Very important. So 
Money, 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 money. Is your financial situation stable enough so that you know this is not the situation? This is not the reason why PenFed is is having a pause on your application process. What I'm trying to say here is that are you in financial straits or are you financially uh, stable? Boss, talk to me about that. Because if you are in financial straits, then your application uh, under review might stay under review for a while and you might be denied. Okay, but if you're not. But then I want you to gather your paperwork and make sure that you have them ready. So when you, when it's time to talk to PenFed, for real, you can win. You can have your application approved. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was talking to you about the PenFed Platinum Rewards Visa Signature Credit Card application under review. What to do and not do. So I gave you an overview. I spoke about the normal processing times, the reasons why you might be uh, your application might be pending. Okay, inconsistent data, frozen credit, too many inquiries, ID fraud, verification, FICO too low, and be busy at the bank or the, the credit union. And then I talked to you. I talked to you about what to do specifically. Thank you so much for your attention. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.